Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll tell you how I have created this beautiful circle loader diagram in PowerPoint. Okay, so let's uh, open a new slide. So I'm just inserting one blank slide here. Okay, and let me copy paste this image and this rectangle from here so i'm just choosing it here and let's bring this cover back on top of our image okay okay now let's inside one text box here and let's write zero one two three four five six okay and let's increase their size let's say somewhere around 60 and let's reduce this size okay and then make it bold align them to right and let's bring them somewhere into the center of this horizontal guide let's duplicate this and let us add more numbers to it seven eight nine then zero one two three four five six seven eight nine zero one two three four five something like this okay let's select both of them and let's select this color as this blue and let me select this one more time and let's place it here and replace this numbers with a percentage sign okay we are good now let's add one rectangle here which will act as a cover for this okay perfect and for fill i'm selecting the same color which is my background like white color and similarly i'm just creating one more copy and let's keep this copy on top of this okay i think we are good so we have cover here we have cover here and in the middle we have this number now let's insert this arc here okay and let's bring it down by dragging from these yellow pointers uh, let's make it a little up and let's drag them a little further down okay i think they're good now let's increase the size for this okay i think they're good let's align it into the middle of this slide okay i think they're good now let's open the format shape window and for this solid line let me select its weight as 15 points and this cap type let's select as round okay and for this transparency also let me change it as 50 percent now let me create a duplicate of this arc and let's align it back let's bring back the transparency for this and if you open the selection pane you have two arcs here so arc 9 is our transparent one so let us quickly hide that okay now let us insert one circle and let's place that circle on top of this arc let's align them and let me bring this arc on top of our oval and for this oval let me select some other color so that it is visible okay and why we are doing this because uh, if we rotate this sometimes it doesn't rotate perfectly so i'm just and uh, including one circle here so that uh, we'll merge them as a group so let me do it quickly for this i don't need any color i don't need any outline i'm simply using it just to make a group so i'm just making a group by pressing ctrl g now if we rotate this it will perfectly rotate into a circular form okay so till now we are good now let's bring that arc 9 back and let's rotate our this group a little bit something like this so you can see we have something like this now if you click on this arc uh, let's reduce its length so let's say i have reduced till here okay and this cover actually you can bring it to front so it will cover this also now let's hide this group 12 and let's adjust the width of this rectangle 
just touching to both of these starting points of this arc okay something like this okay we are good now let's bring that group back again and let's add one more cover here through this rectangle so i'm select i'm pasting one more rectangle here and i'm selecting the same white color and let's say either you can choose white outline or no outline i'm choosing no outline and you can bring this arc in front of everyone so you will have something like this okay so till now we are good now let's bring back these uh, text boxes from here so i'm just duplicating these or i'm just copying this and i'm pasting it here okay now let's insert one hollow circle here okay and you can place it here something like this then you can reduce its size and then you have to align this circle or hollow circle on top of this arc okay perfect i don't need the outline so i'm selecting no outline for this arc as well and i'll add one more circle on top of it so let me select this oval shape let's inside one more circle here okay and i don't need any fill for this so i'm selecting no fill for outline i'm selecting the white outline and i'm just choosing this width as around 15 points now you select only this oval and since this is a line only so you can select this dash type i'm selecting this dash type as like this okay so we have something like this now you select both of them and you go to merge shape and click on this subtract so you'll sub you will have something like this okay now let's bring it back to its original place press ctrl and shift and increase its size a little bit okay now since it is all white so you cannot see it so for time being i'm changing its color to black so that it is visible okay i think this is good now we have this group okay so we have to duplicate this group and let's align this group back to its original position okay and now you have to press this control and shift key and then you have to drag it a little bit here okay now for this new group actually mm, this arc uh, let me select some other color so i'm selecting this blue color and let's let me reduce this width to somewhere around eight points okay so till now we are good now what we have to do like uh, for this this uh, entire uh, rectangle will bring it to the front so that it will go behind but as you can see like our this text box has also gone behind so let's bring it front okay then you can see like this is uh, this rectangle also needs to bring it up so let me right click and this this also we should bring it up then you can select this arc 9 and you bring this on top of everyone okay so we have something like this now let's increase this size so that it will cover from here and if you see this new arc it is appearing from here as well so let us reduce it a little further and this free form actually it will uh, come above this group 90 and then you can select this outline color as white okay so you will have something like this okay one well, last thing which we have to do here is like we have to insert two small circles here so let me insert one circle here and for this circle i don't need any outline so i'm selecting no outline and let me duplicate this and let me place it one more circle on the other hand or on the other side okay let's align them into the center or into the middle okay okay let's duplicate this slide and let's like this group 12 and let's rotate this group 
okay and then for this you select this arc and this bottom part you can drag it till here okay then similarly for this group 19 also you can rotate like this and and then you can select this arc 21 and you can drag this portion till here okay similarly for these numbers let's change their position so let's increase this to let's say 6 and this is let's say it is going till somewhere around 64 or 65 percent so let's bring this six till 64 okay perfect now let's apply this morph transition on this and you're good let's see how it is playing in the full screen yeah so i think we are good Oh, I hope you have liked this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share my channel.